Yeah. Hi, students. I am Dr. Badrinath. Uh, introduction to physical pharmacy. That is a today's topic, right? Physical pharmacy, name itself indicates it is having some physics. Here you can see the person. He is a great scientist in the physics. Stephen Hawking, name is the person. Okay. He is actually the diseased one. He is a diseased. Okay. Only even voice is also not working. So whatever he is thinking, it will be automatically converted into the voice. What is there in his mind? He was unable to speak also. So his thoughts will be converted into words by using this computer, this machine. Okay. He's a great scientist. He did a research on the black holes, black holes, very great world famous, great physics scientist. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, physical pharmacy, having a subject of the physics. Most of the students, they will think that uh, it is a dry subject. Uh, no, it is not a dry subject. I will not accept. Sir, it is very dry subject. It is very tough to understand. Uh, sir, is there any excuse in the chapter concession? So, 10 chapters is there. So, shall I read only 5 chapters? This type of bargain, no. I won't accept such a type of bargain. At all. It is not a business to bargain with professors. Okay, so uh, a drug molecule, any drug molecule having a three types of properties, three types of properties. The humans, we have a three properties that is a mobile property, mobile property, money, gold. We can move from one place to another place, immovable property, house, land. Okay, and also intellectual property. This is the area here. You can see intellectual property. Three types of properties are there for human. In the same fashion, a drug is also having a property, very good property. What is the three properties? Same three properties it is having. What is the three? One is the physics, physical properties. Physics. Physics means name itself indicate the structure, molecular weight, etc. Molecular weight, density is there, surface tension is there, interfacial tension is there. All is due to the physical things only physical existing of the molecule that's why uh, these are the these properties are called as a physical properties we will read this property in the subject of physics okay that is in the physical pharmacy so we are calling it as a physical pharmacy also called as a physical chemistry mainly we are reading physics only here chemistry is likely it touches so bsc people they are calling this subject this subject they are calling as a physical chemistry and we are calling also as a physical pharmaceutics. This is about the physical properties. Chemical properties. In the chemistry, we will read. There is again three types of chemistries. Is there organic chemistry? Organic chemistry means definitely it must consist of a carbon as well as a hydrogen. Definitely it must have inorganic proper. Inorganic means most of the compound, not all. Most of the compounds do not have a carbon. Then you can say it is about the inorganic chemistry. If the compound consists of carbon and hydrogen, we will study in the, we will put that molecule in the subject of organic chemistry. If it doesn't have a carbon and hydrogen, then you can put in the, most of the molecules do not, which do not have a carbon that we are placing in the inorganic, not all. Biochemistry, the molecules which are already there in our body. Which are, that is a chemistry which is related to the molecules which are already existing in our body is called as a biochemistry. Name itself indicate biochemistry. Okay. So each property is one subject. Physical properties are one subject. Chemical properties are one subject. Okay. And pharmacological properties like an interaction with the body. Drug molecule having a one more property which is very, very important. Which is very, very important. Right. Okay. It is called as a, it, we are studying in the subject of pharmacology interaction with the body, how the drug molecule will interact with the See, three properties are there. One is physical property. Number two is a chemical property. And the third one is the interaction with the body that we are studying in the pharmacology. Three properties we will study in the three different subjects. Each year, one subject will come like that. Physics, states of matter. These are the properties, physical properties, states of matter, solids, liquid, gases isotonicity very important each concept is very important without knowing all these things we want to become a, a very good job one lakh or two lakh salary per month we are expecting like that but actually we don't want physical pharmacy subject we don't want 
okay uh, we want only the directly salary we want and uh, we want to settle in well established company but we do not required the knowledge of the physical farmers okay isotonicity refractive index colligative properties all these types of uh, things are coming in the physical properties okay physical pharmacy subject chemistry we are studying about the nature chemical nature of the molecule either it is acidic in nature either it is a basic in nature either it is a aromatic compound or aliphatic compound what about the chemical reaction with other how you prepare the alkanes what is the alkenes what is the alkynes what is the diel salder reaction all these chemical properties we are studying in the chemistry that i have already told again each one is subject organic chemistry one subject uh, inorganic chemistry is one subject biochemistry is one subject there we, we are studying about the chemical properties and in pharmacology we are studying about the therapeutic action how it shows its mechanism of action what is a drug receptor interaction what about the side effects of the drug not only main effect it also shows the side effect what are the side effects how it comes all these type of properties are comes in the pharmacology subject all subjects are important all we, generally we will focus mainly on the pharmacology some students fear about the chemistry some students uh, fear about the physics okay yeah see we will see important things we will cover what is the importance of uh, key concepts in the subject of physical pharmacy essential essential states of matter we know that everybody not only even high school kid fourth class fifth class could uh, kid also able to tell what is the how many states of matter three states one is andhra pradesh telangana and kerala we will think that no, not that states states of matter we have three states solid liquid gas apart from that we have one more thing also that is a plasma that is a fourth state is also there it is also existing that is also we are using in the pharmacy plasma chromatography in the subject of plasma chromatography we are using that plasma state see here solid liquid gases here tightly packed here molecules are somewhat loosely packed it is highly loosely it is very loose very loose that everybody knows see whenever you are preparing a solid dosage forms like a tablets or filling a solid powder in the capsule whenever you are filling all these are the solids only whenever you are handling with the solids you have to know before handling it you have to know what is a solid you have to know what is a solid what are the solid properties what is a liquid properties if you know the liquid properties then only you came to know how to prepare a syrup how to prepare a suspension how to prepare a emulsion how to prepare parenterals large volume parenterals small volume parenterals it's and everything of the liquid properties you have to know what is a liquid what is a, how it is a, but we don't want actually that solid liquid gas we don't want we want actually the knowledge of how to prepare a tablet how to prepare a capsule the suspension preparation how to prepare the aerosols all these things we want actually but we don't want a solid liquid gas gaseous state see here we are preparing a gaseous form here see aerosols aerosols our spray mouth spray we are using the molecules in the gas anesthetic inhalers anesthetics your drug molecule is there in the gaseous form okay so all the states of matter even plasma state also we are using in the subject of analysis okay that is plasma chromatography so all four states of matter whatever is there we have the same concepts okay in the pharmacy that three four states of matter is essential to understand basically before going to handle the preparation or analysis of the drug molecules states of matter very very important stability studies why this stability studies why i have to do this stability studies here see drug molecules tablets expiry date here you can see 3714 Three seven sixteen two years. It is a general. If it is more than two years, also expiry date. As per the government regulations, we have to make it uh, two years only. Two years is the maximum period. Without that, we cannot accept Ayurvedic or some other dosage forms. In general, maximum period is the two years. That is a maximum. So here, see the drug is expired. If the drug, if the drug is expired, and if the tablet is taken by the patient he will also expire see are i rest in peace so how to determine this uh, expiry date you have have the knowledge of physical pharmaceutics 
why physical pharmacy again how to determine this uh, expiry date of a tablet how to determine there was a guidelines also ICH guidelines if you want to know the expiry date eh, of a given tablet any given tablet you have a knowledge of physical pharmacy that is a stability studies you should have a knowledge stability studies there is a two types of stability studies is there real time studies is there accelerated stability studies is there both are there real time means in the real fashion two years completely you have to study expiry date two years completely accelerated means fast okay within a three months or within a six months within a nine months we can find out what is the expiry date if you want to know the expiry date you should have a knowledge of the humidity chamber stability chamber without the concept of temperature without the concept of humidity you cannot understand the stability studies you cannot understand the stability chamber these two concepts you have to know definitely without that how can you came to know what is the expiry date how they will determine you will scratch your head whenever your parents or relations will ask how will you determine the expiry date you have to scratch your head uh, actually it is doing something like that you have to cover that's it that's it okay yeah, this is about the expiry date determination. Very important concept of the stability studies. First one is the states of matter. Second one is the stability studies. I am giving only the key concepts. Why it is important? Why we are using citrigine in the form of levo only? Levo citrigine. There is another form is also there. Dextro citrigine, but we are not using. Why we are using only levo citrigine? Actually, levo citrigine is not the name of citrigine. Citrigine is a drug, whereas a levo is its character. It rotates the polarized light. What is this polarized light? What is this light source? What is a polarized light? What is a light? We don't know. And what is optical rotation? Rotation, optical, optical, ophthalmic, rotation. How it rotates? Polarizer. What is the polarizer? This is not microscope. Don't think it is microscope. It is a polarimeter. Why this polarimeter? Why can't we are using, we are not using a dextrocitrogen? Why we are always using levocitrogen, levocitrogen? Number of doubts are there. Physical pharmacy is the subject, it gives the answer for this. Optical rotation, what is this concept? I'll tell you. When the light source, normal light source, is called as an unpolarized light. This is called as an unpolarized light. It, it will be rotated in all the directions, all the directions. You have to make it into polarized light. Okay. You have to make it into polarized light. I will tell in the corresponding section. Okay. Corresponding video, I will tell you. So it becomes only, it moves only in two directions like this. See here, how many arrow marks are there here? It travels in all the directions. Whereas here, it travels only two directions. This is called a polarized light. This is called a normal light. When the normal light passing through a Nikal prism, you will get a polarized light. Polarized light, when it passing through the molecules, suppose say here levocitrogen I have kept. It rotates this light into left side, levo, L, levo, left side. It rotates the light into left side. Dextro rotator, dextrocitrogen, it rotates the polarized light into the right side, not the normal light here. Normal light we are converting into polarized light. That polarized light is rotated by the drug molecule. See here, levocitrogen is only active form. Whereas a dextrocitrogen is inactive form. More of the levocitrogen molecules only active biologically when you have consumed the tablet. That's why always they are preparing levocitrogen. What is levocitrogen means? Citrogen. If you dissolve in the solution, water, and you pass the polarized light so that it rotates into left side. Then you can say it is a levocitrogen. That was levocitrogen is only biologically active. Dextrocitrogen is not much active than that of the levocitrogen. That's why always we are preferring the levocitrogen, levocitrogen, levocitrogen. How to determine either the given citrogen is levo or dextro? You have to do a polarimeter. You have to do. Without the help of polarimeter, you can't say either the given citrogen is levo or dextro. You cannot say. See, if you prepared without knowing the knowledge of the physical pharmacy, you have prepared a citrogen tablet that is entire dose is a dextro citrogen only. So the patient is consumed. What happened? Therapeutic effect is less. So there is no cure. You prepare a tablet. 
why means if the research is going on the doctors why it is not worked why it is not worked finally they can point that the pharmacist do not have a knowledge of the physical pharmacy he do not have a knowledge of optical rotation that's why the patient is died that is the thing is going on rheology rheology is nothing but flow of the fluids rheology is wonderful one separate chapter for you in in this subject physical pharmacy see you can find the gels suspensions emulsions ointments whatever it may be either a solid doses form semi solid dose not solid doses form liquid doses form semi solid doses form liquid doses form semi solid doses form these two flow properties you have to determine with the help of a rheology subject you have an knowledge of the science of the rheology without knowing that you cannot find the if you prepare without knowing the rheology you have prepared the ointment even though you open the ointment tube the patient will open the ointment tube ointment he even though he will give a pressure the patient will give a pressure from back side ointment is not coming outside because we don't know we have prepared such a great formulation that even though patient is trying a much and putting in the lorry tire also the ointment is not coming because rheology because you do not have a knowledge of the rheology this is the problem so rheology is nothing but a flow property flow properties you can be determined with the help of a science of the rheology here we see how many are there not only pharmaceutical sol, uh, semi solid doses form shampoos you can take a mira shampoo and you can do a trial what is the flow property of the mira shampoo what is a uh, head and shoulders shampoo you can be take what is the aloe vera gel gel aloe vera gel is very famous now either it is having a gelling property either it is having a flow property or not see some of the ointments how it will be if you open the ointment tube it comes automatically so only one thing is you have to put and you have to close until that it never stops it keep on coming 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 either you observed or not that i don't know so rheology is nothing but a science of the study of the flow properties of the liquids as well as the semi solids here you can see this is a cone and plate this is a plate this is a cone and top and bob viscometer is also there they can determine the what is the viscosity viscosity it gives the flow property all these things concepts comes under rheology only otherwise your preparation it cannot show a flow property even the suspension you open the suspe uh, suspension bottle and you have poured no it is not coming outside that's it and particle size determination whenever you are analyzing particle size determination is very important then only you can properly analyze the prepared doses form is correct or not you have to see what is the inside what is you if you see directly you cannot see the particle size you have to know what is the nature of the colloidal solution see here this is a normal solution all the solid is already converted into liquid form this is called a solution this is called a colloidal solution colloidal solution this is called a suspension see how the difference is there simple with the help of one single flashlight or torchlight you can determine what is the solution what is a colloidal solution what is the suspension see here you can find the scattered light here also you can find scattered light here how how you can see the particles are bigger in size okay here you can see with the help of torchlight you can say you can tell either it is a solution or it is a colloid or it is a suspension what is the difference between solution and colloid what is the difference between a colloid and suspension you have to study in the subject of colloidal solution under the concept see the torchlight how it is torchlight makes a difference three things okay why it makes that comes in the science of the particle size again this is a wonderful concept we have to study in the physical pharmacy only osmosis you can kill the patient you can kill the patient uh, without adjusting the osmosis the isotonicity of the formulation you don't adjust so of parental things i have already made video on that uh, thing this osmosis is wonderful concept you have to get it the concept from movie of dashavtaram it is a total entire i already made video you just watch it the uh, movie osmosis how it kills the patient how you can kill the microorganisms with the help of the science of osmosis this osmosis isotonicity hypertonicity hypotonicity how the blood vessels see here blood vessel is normal here here blood vessel is hypo uh, blood vessel is swelling so all the blood uh, uh, not blood vessels blood cells all the blood cells here it become a blast 
here also it become a shrink blood cells it become a shrink and it will be collapsed finally so finally what happen the patient will die because of this because uh, there is a lack of the knowledge of the again isotonicity hypotonicity hypertonicity osmosis physical pharmacy subject is escaped okay if you want to adjust the iso isotonicity you have a four methods are there class 1 methods class 2 methods class 1 methods two methods are there class 2 methods also two methods is there so you have to adjust the isotonicity otherwise it will be a great risk for that so already all videos are available in my channel playlist that you can be watching so here you have to see the calculation whenever you see the equation that is a thing happening equations are coming equations are coming and equations are going that's it nothing will be enter into the mind like this you will get confusion calculation part is very very important in the adjustment of the isotonicity refractive index why the pencil it looks like here see here it is a one here because we are looking through the air here here we are looking through the glass see how the difference is there so why actually here it looks like pencil is cut here here also you can cut no it is actually not the thing why means light passes whenever the light passes through the air through the glass through the water definitely there is a changes whenever light passes through a dense medium it try to bends light try to bends that depends upon the nature of the solution okay this is a refractometer a bes refractometer not microscope whenever you see you will tell that uh, sir this is microscope this is microscope this is polarimeter is there it is a different a bes refractometer is different but we will think that all are one microscope is different all these are the three different things okay so this refractive index very very important and these are the books what you have to refer see physical chemistry it is called by the it is already there je also it is a bsc students they are reading this physical same concepts only osmosis the same things only almost same almost not all they are also reading this subject great this is the martin's physical pharmacy and pharmaceutical sciences this is a solid book whereas a Uh, since he is a foreign author you cannot understand much you cannot understand easily you cannot grasp the subject easily but however it is an excellent book no doubt in that and these are the some other books test books of physical pharmaceutics by cvs subramanian sir and physical pharmaceutics by manavalan so actually whenever i am doing my post graduation in annamalai university sir has taught me and uh, in m pharmacy so sir is direct to my guru to me and the student so he came to number of times class and he taught me the physical pharmacy uh, as well as various subjects also he taught okay and uh, whenever i am doing my b pharmacy at sjm college of pharmacy chitradurga i used to go to davanagara to write my examination in another center jamling center in the bapuji college of pharmacy so sir was that time sir was principal of bapuji college of pharmacy he wrote the cv uh, is a very great book this is also a very great book almost both are just like uh, my gurus only inspirers to me okay and uh, these are the recommended books by the pharmacy council of india these are the here you can see manavalan dr r manavalan ramaswami the same book what i have shown here cvs subramanian you can see the cvs subramanian cvs subra physical pharmaceutics 10 books are there but among all uh, what i have shown the three books are important this is a syllabus you, uh, physical pharmacy they have divided pca into two one is physical pharmaceutics one physical pharmaceutics two so here this is physical pharmaceutics one comes in the third semester and this is a syllabus solubility very important solubility without solubility the drug cannot be absorbed see my biopharmaceutics introduction video you can understand why solubility is important for drug molecules states of matter just now i told physical properties of a drug molecule refractive index optical rotation dielectric constant dipole moment surface tension interfacial tension tension means we will get tension surface tension means we will get tension and complex and protein binding ph buffers and isotonic solution five units are there in physical pharmaceutics one this is physical pharmaceutics two it comes in the fourth semester colloidal dispersions just now i have told what is a rheology deformation of the solids coarse dispersion micrometrics particle size determination excellent drug stability all these are the cons so total 5 plus 5 10 units are there 
so i will uh, upload uh, all the videos okay just you watch in my playlist and uh, inspire he is the inspirer of the physics okay right so i will end my video here